passing by Surrounded by all those butterflies Suddenly they flew right in my heart Must have looked like a living piece of art From the moment I knew Hi guys and welcome back to the channel i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today so today we are back at the channel with the let's build series that is running right now and i am creating a starter home for windenburg so windenburg of course needed a starter home and i really liked how this lot looked it's not too large so i didn't need to add in that much items to make it feel like it's filled in um, but it's still large enough to make a cozy home for one or two sims maybe even a family i mean you can definitely add in more while you progress while playing with the game so you can start out with this house and then later on when you're making money you can add in like a second floor with another bedroom for the kids that you are gonna probably have so that is so much fun and i just love that this lot has so much water uh, surrounding it so you can go fishing here for making money and i just really like the aesthetic <laughs> and the view here so this is a definitely a good lot um very sad that i don't really build here that often because of it's a very tiny lot but now of course with tiny living this is a lot that i will probably be will be using more in the future so this house this starter home is not a tiny home by the way it's just a normal sized uh house so yes we are going over a hundred tiles um but i do like that this house is uh it's not too large so definitely manageable for money wise when you download this from the gallery you will see that is uh, that house will cost around 1800 or 18,000 simoleons so I think 18,300 and a bit and then with this lot included you only pay 19,903 simoleons or something like that so you will have seven simoleons left <laughs> when you buy the lot so I think that is really nice because when you start fishing right off the bat you can make like a few simoleons go find frogs and you know just explore a little bit and then in one day you can have enough money for your sim to eat so that's really nice um so for this starter home um i really did want to make something that fitted in with all of the houses all houses <laughs> of the other houses that i'm creating in windenburg i will link both of the two videos here up in the screen of the other houses that i created for this world uh the first one is a 64 by 64 gorgeous home it has everything your sim would ever need i don't think your sim even needs to go off the lot it's that packed um but yeah that is the first one and then the second home that i created is the windenburg villa which is also really large it's on a 30 by 40 uh, i think six bedrooms yeah, five or six bedrooms. So definitely enough space for a full family. And then this is the third one that I'm creating and that is the starter. And I think it fits really nice with the entire aesthetic that I'm trying to set for the neighborhood. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that you are gonna like this little home as well. Um, so I really do think that, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm trying to figure out if I want to use like uh, wooden trims or white trims. And I think I'm gonna go with a dark trim in the end. Yeah, I think I am. I thought I went went for white, but the dark trim also looks really nice. Uh, so for the uh, exterior, I do go with some neutrals, of course. I think that it looks really nice for this uh, surrounding. I'm using the island living siding as well. I'm, I'm really addic addicted to the island living wooden siding. They're just really good. They look a little bit weathered, but still gorgeous so yes i used it in this build as well and i'm also using uh, a lot of the seasons windows because the seasons windows are really inexpensive i think i pay like 30 simoleons per window which is awesome i think the windows got cheaper um as our packs progressed because i can remember in the beginning base game windows are actually really expensive so I'm really happy with the seasons windows because that gave me more chance to make this house feel a bit more 
nicer <laughs> or lux not luxurious but definitely nicer and manicured so for the landscaping i am going through the debug section um, it's just the best way to save money on a starter home and these are like the exact same um trees and plants that you can find in the normal catalog so this is awesome i don't know why they are in they are in the debug section but i don't mind they can keep it like that also the fence that i'm using is from debug so they will probably not stop a sim from entering your home but they still look really nice and it makes the the lot feel um how do you say it how do you say that you can see where the lot uh, begins and ends and it creates a nice little border so i like really like the fence and i actually wished that we had the fence in like a dragon form so that we could actually use this fence all around and have it function like a fence uh, because they are so wide i love that um you don't get a pole like every other tile but it, it's more spaced out it's a really nice looking fence uh, so for the interior um we are going uh, with one bedroom like i said and one bathroom so i knew i wanted the living room to come on the right side because i made a chimney outside and i like to connect my fireplaces with my chimneys just for that realistic look Oh no, realistic, I don't know. But yeah, it just made sense to connect it there. So the living room is gonna go on the right side. And on the left side, we have a really spacious bedroom. So you can even divide that bedroom into two bedrooms and make like a tiny nursery or a toddler bedroom in there. Uh, but I just went with one bedroom because I <laughs> didn't have enough simoleons to furnish two. I did splurge a little bit on decorational items in this home because the last starter home that I did for Strangerville, I will link that here up in the screen, there wasn't that much decoration going on inside of the living room. It was really basic, although the exterior was really good. It had everything you needed, in my point of view, for the exterior. But the interior was a bit lacking. So for this house, I did try to style it a bit more. There are bookcases, um, some clutter objects here and there. I even throw in a painting. <laughs> I did have money for a painting. Um, and it was a Seasons painting. Seasons has really good items for starter homes. Um, so here I started with making a tiny play area for a child. But then later on, I remember but wait a minute, we don't have a kid's bedroom. So I do, yeah, remove that again. And then here I'm trying to figure out what do I want to do here? Do I want a chess table or just a dining table? And I end up going with the dining table here. You can always add in a bigger one when you have more simoleons. I just went with a two-seater for now because it's a starter. Um, and then for the kitchen, it's actually a really spacious kitchen. It is a square kitchen. This is going to be a bit smaller because I need to add in a bathroom somewhere. I forgot the bathroom. Um, but I am going to add it in, in between the hallway and the kitchen. So there will be a tiny bathroom there, a 4x4 four four tile. So everything will be functional. Um, but yeah, the kitchen is really spacious for a starter home. I also add in enough cabinets on the bottom, two upper sh uh, upper cabinets as well for storage. So I like it. There is no island this time in the kitchen because I felt that it would be a bit too cramped to add that in. And then here I'm trying to decide where that darn bathroom needs to go. Uh, I totally forgot it in my floor plan. I always forgot forget the bathroom. Um, but yeah, the bathroom goes right there in that little square and then I make like a corner kitchen cabinet here and then on the other side I make uh, a long kind of a section where I add in a coffee machine. So yes, your Sims can, can drink coffee. I also move over the fridge right there and it's a really good layout. Definitely happy with how this starter house is turning out. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below the video. Um, should I do another starter home and the, on the Windenburg Island section? So the more modern section that I'm gonna create. Do you all want to see a modern starter there or just fill it in with you know normal homes like I usually do and don't really think about the money I would really like to hear your feedback because I'm creating these worlds for myself but also for you guys and I really want to know 
what you all want to see in all of these worlds and also other suggestions for commercial lots in Windenburg and other worlds are also really uh, largely appreciated. I know with my Oasis Spring series, I added in a Bowley Alley, um, a gym, um, a restaurant is in there and also a coffee place so it has a lot of um already really nice commercial lots but i do want to have a few commercial lots on every world so let me know what you want to see like in windenburg and strangerville um it would really help the series and make it fully functional for you guys as well so i'm really looking forward to hear your feedback in the comments section um so yeah here we are at the backyard uh, area and i really didn't know how i could fill this in without losing too much money uh, we have like 290 simoleons left as you can see so i do add in some planters because i love gardening as you all know so i added in two really inexpensive planters from i think the the vacation the first vacation pack that we've gotten with granite falls in it i don't know the name anymore uh, but yeah i added those in and then here i added in some rocks which are gonna disappear again because they were way too expensive uh, because i still needed to do uh the bins <laughs> so yeah um i re i oh my gosh i have 805 simoleons left i, I don't know what i did I, th I think i deleted something so now we are at a little below 800. So that gave me the opportunity to do a little bit decorational pieces. So I love this painting from Seasons. I love the color palettes on them. They're so good. Added in a side table. It looks a little bit worn, but I love that for the vibe of this house. And then here going through Debug and... That bookcase that I'm using here from, I think, the Myskino stuff pack is actually zero simoleons, which I, I didn't know. Why is that thing zero simoleons? I mean, it looks really high end. So I was really happy to add that in. And then for the master bedroom, oh my gosh, the master bedroom is a, such a sad little bedroom <laughs> um i just add in a bed two side tables a dresser and there will be a mirror that's it and then a rug <laughs> i didn't have any simoleons left for decorational pieces so no clutter no paintings no nothing it's just for sleeping which is fine but you do want to spice it up a little bit with your sims own items so here i removed some of the archways uh, and then replaced them with cheaper archways because the new archways that we've got them um, with the stair update the one with the little point <laughs> that you can see are actually really cheap so I swapped them out with the other archways and that gave me more simoleons to add in a bike at the front. I also am gonna do... Um yeah, so the bike is still not here. I am still trying to find money at this point, but there will be a bike at the front of the house. I also add in uh, laundry. I mean, laundry is so important. Um, I don't know where. Oh, that's it. I delete some windows. So I was using base game windows, the long ones, and those are really expensive. So I deleted those again. That gave me a little bit of money for a mirror, but still on a 185 simoleons. So definitely not the amount that i wanted to have um so here you see me go through the catalog again it's like a reoccurring thing me going through the catalog trying to find items so here's the bike i just loved the idea of having a bike for my sims so that they could bike around windenburg <laughs> it just made sense because windenburg feels very european in my opinion it actually feels german to me let me know what, what what kind of vibe do you guys get with Windenburg? I get a, a German kind of vibe uh, because of, um, you know, the type of styles of houses that they created uh, in the normal base world of this, of this world. It really feels very German, but also very European. And we Europeans, we love to bike around, especially the Dutch, <laughs> the Dutch people. Uh, I mean, we all have a bike here in my household, my family. We all have bikes. So I always went to school with a bike. I even went working on the bike. I, I bicycled 40 minutes 
to work and from work uh, at one point. Now I don't. Now I use my car because my work is so far away. But I still I miss I miss biking around because it was so much fun. Um, so I think we're like almost done. Yeah, here I'm trying to see if everything was painted, adding in a laundry basket, of course, because we do have laundry now outside on the back, uh, in the backyard. And here I'm just seeing if everything's painted, if I could win a bit more simoleons here and there. And then just going through the debug section, adding in the finishing touches, which were free, <laughs> and also some outdoor lighting, which were also zero simoleons. So very happy with that. And yeah, that's it. This is my tiny starter home for a single sim. So I'm hoping that you all enjoyed the speed build. And let let me know again in the comments what you thought about the build and of course leave your likes if you did very important for the channel it makes it grow and it also makes me know what you all like and if this is the first video that you're seeing from me don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you would never ever miss a video of mine so that's it you all i'm hoping that you are having a awesome day wherever you are and i will see you all soon bye bye <laughs>